Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can log off from the SAP GUI, from your SAP session using a batch file. I have already produced one video using a batch file, a Windows command to log in into your SAP system. And on that video, I have received a question if it is also possible to use the Windows command or any Windows command to log off from the SAP system. And in this video, I would like to give you the answer because it is possible using a little trick. Once again, I will link the video also in the video description if you would like to get to know more information how you can log in using the batch file. But basically here we're using the program SAP SHCUT and here this program is only um, available and suitable to log into your SAP system and not to log off and therefore you can use an easy trick also to log off. First of all, if you would like to use this little trick, here we have our debug.txt file. And if you're using this content, so with brackets function, then with command slash h and type system command, you are able to debug also pop-ups if you drag and drop this file. And we are using the same also to put the slash N N E X command because if you're doing this in the command field, this is what I'm gonna show you. So I'm logging into the SAP system right now. And here if using slash N E X, you could also write it this way. It doesn't, doesn't matter, it's not case sensitive. And then hit the enter key, you're immediately logged off from your SAP system. And we're using this little trick. So basically we would also like to set the, or to put the command slash NEX, and then we can also drag and drop this file to log off from your SAP system. So this is what we're gonna do. So therefore we are um, uh, copying this file and for example, rename it to close SAP. And then if we just change this to slash NEX, save this, and then we're logging once again into the SAP system. And then once again, as if you would do this with debugging pop-ups, you have to drag your icon, your file, and then you have to drop it on your window to the SAP GUI. If you can see this cursor changes and then uh, drop it, and then you can see that you um, have successfully logged off your SAP system without being asked. And you can also uh, use this trick in the batch files. So if we're logging once again into your in, uh, to our SAP system, then you have the possibility here to generate shortcuts. And therefore here you can change the title. So for example, uh, close SAP once again, and then we're choosing as a type a system command. And then we would like to use the system command slash NEX with our specified system. This is totally fine. And then finished. Uh, yeah, this is okay. And now if I'm moving this file here to the right side and then change the title a little bit to make it easier executable. So without having spaces, it's also possible to change to close sap.sap. And now what we're gonna do is basically we are um, creating a, a batch file and therefore you have to open um, one uh, yeah, preferred um, editor, in my case just the notepad. And here we are starting with start and then we're specifying the name of our SAP shortcut. So in this case close underscore SAP.SAP and then it's important that we 
are saving this. So for example, close sap.bat for batch, uh, all files, and then we are saving this. So here we have the file, and if we execute our batch file, then the SAP shortcut will be executed and logging of us off from the SAP system. So that's what we're gonna do. So if we double click, then it's also important to know that uh, for the first time the SAP GUI security pop-up will uh, open up because now the computer is trying to execute commands in the SAP GUI. So for the first time you have to select the checkbox remember my decision, click on allow and now as you could see you're logged off from the SAP system and now if we do this once again um, after remembering the decision in this SAP security pop-up you can now see that you are successfully logged off from the SAP system. And yeah, if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment section. Please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.